Thank you very much, Mr. President. Commissioner, a Europe with economic, social and territorial cohesion is not a union. Mountainous regions, regions and sparsely populated areas have their own challenges and they're pretty difficult challenges which have to be overcome to create a Europe of peoples. But we've got to go beyond declarations of intention because uh, otherwise we'll be achieving the opposite effect. We'll be uh, boosting inequalities. These regions are, have reserves of substantial resources, biodiversity, forests, wetlands uh, and so forth. These are essential for all of us and yet they are a hindrance of their economy in many ways. The people of these regions have to uh, enjoy the solidarity of all Europeans. So let me run to proposals. The, the, a major contribution to science and development can be made by these regions. These are basically open air laboratories because of their wealth, but they do not have equal access to research and development funds. Why not create centers of research excellence in these areas? This will create quality jobs and inject dynamism into their economies. My second proposal relates to energy. The regions could and should be laboratories for new types of energy which will show the potential for energy self-sufficiency, particularly by means of uh, micro-generation. This will reduce dependency, boost equality and generate jobs. Finally, I'd like to say they're using a GDP as the only or main indicator for allocating funds and aid will only lead to further injustices. That's why it's essential that we use complementary data and indicators, those that reflect the social economic reality of these regions. We can't, oh, I cannot but uh, mention the peoples of uh, the Azores, Madeira, and uh, inland mountainous areas in Portugal, which are very sparsely populated. They contribute a lot for, uh, for, or they could contribute a lot for the quality of life of Europeans. These regions have their own context and existence. Economic, social, and territorial cohesion should not be seen as a charity or be about handouts. It's a question of creating a real European redistribution policy. Thus, I believe this resolution is important, but it's only one first step in the right direction.